I got my water, baby, it's so good and it's so cold And I'm not tuned in to the Sounds World Show Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too I wanna give a shout out to all the Sammy Boo Sam's World, 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 We vogue in here, vogue in here. Y'all look, what we eating? Did you see the thumbnail? Oh, okay. But anyway, we're not alone. Who could it be? Who could it be? I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. Hey, I got my water, baby. I got my baby. She is so good and cold. Yo. Hey, Sammy Boots. How are y'all doing? Listen, if you're new to my channel, what a food is. Oh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell. Yep, the bell. So you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And then what? Boom! Straight to your phone, baby. Straight to your... Hello. But anyway, today, guys, today we're going to eat some devil eggs, honey. But no, it's each no time right there. Some devil eggs, honey. I got... I am so pressed for time. So it wasn't no coming here. Set your food up like I always do. I ain't had time for that. So I had to set it up in front of y'all. Because I got to get out of here in a little while. Let me see. I hear a fly behind me somewhere. Lord, don't let that thing fly by. Man, where he at? He doesn't make a noise. Ain't nobody got time for that today, y'all. He over there by the window. I don't want him in my video and I ain't got time for this. You let him land on that one. Hold on, y'all. be right back. Don't play with me, hun. Got him. I know y'all don't want to hear that right now, but I'm human just like you. And you've seen flies before. I mean, you know, sorry, but he did. Glory, hallelujah. Y'all, I cooked me some um, chicken on the grill today. Whew. I ain't said my grace either. Don't y'all let me bite this stuff without saying my grace. What that little fat one eat? Y'all know when you be cooking, you find the little one you want to eat. Eat. We'll eat that little fat one. Right there. Put one more up there. And y'all, like I had me some little turkey necks. Some turkey necks that I bought for a video like a, this week. And I, um... Didn't get to eat them, so I took them out. I had cooked them in a pot, so I took them out and I put them on the grill. I was like, let me see what that tastes like. Anyway, mm, I'm gonna go ahead on. So, my grace, so we can what? Get to eat. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. And Lord, please bless this fortunate. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, also please bless all of us that is on a weight loss journey or a life change journey. Whatever kind of journey we on, Lord, please bless us and keep us strong. Keep our minds strong. Keep us in this thing, God. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm ready to eat, y'all. I really want to taste these turkey necks. See, I had put them, you know, cooked them in the crock pot. Mmm. My, my, my. I'm hungry. I'm trying to hurry up. I gotta do a thumbnail. And that ain't thumbnail is right now. Uh uh. Let's see. Let's see now. Let's make us a thumbnail, babies. Better. Y'all, I'm back. What was I doing, y'all? I got a phone call. I don't know what I was. Had I eaten anything? Did I take a bite of anything? I don't know. All I know is I got a phone call and I'm back. Okay, let me bite this. 
Mm. Look at that chicken. Juicy. Mm. Tell me this, y'all. Mm. Mm. That is so good. Listen. Do y'all like the pop roll, y'all, uh, chicken? Or do y'all like to cook it straight on the grill? This is grilled chicken. Mm. Come through turn down. Y'all see what I was doing? I forgot to put my olives on top of my eggs. Mmm. That made it good. Mmm. Yeah, I know I really don't like eggs like that. Um, when I went home for Father's Day, my niece made me some eggs with some dill in it. Mm. I picked the right one. It's so juicy. And baby, it was so good. So I said, let me try it. Sugar-free Polynesian, y'all. I really, really been watching my sauces too. <laughs> I ain't been playing with them like that. Mm. This is really good. I have put my chicken in the um, oven, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I want grilled chicken. I yanked that chicken right on out that oven. And then boom. We back. Come in, fam. Mm. Mm. I hope everybody's doing great. Oh, God. Y'all know we about to start 30-30 Unleashed Challenge. So, I need for y'all to inbox me on Instagram, send my MCBD, or email me at samsworld329 at gmail.com. So, I can find out what y'all Facebook name is so I can add y'all to our private group. The group is for motivation, um, inspiration, you know, to motivate each other. Because I ain't the only one. You ain't the only one either. So go ahead on, get over there to either Instagram or my email and send me your Facebook name. And if you ain't scared, put your Facebook name under here. I get it. So we can start this group on the 1st. On the 5th, my God. Nick Bone. I got a little talk about it too, y'all. Mm. My phone call kind of threw me on. Let's see. Y'all want a piece of egg? Mm. It's good. Mm. I'm so ready to get this group started, y'all. So, this weekend is July the 4th coming up. 
And I've been waiting on Sam on Leash to, to get, I, we probably need about 40 or 50 people now. But because I have a big rodeo Saturday and Sunday, if we hit the number about between here and there, Baby, I ain't gonna be do not be too tired. I've been running around here right now with my head cut off. So, I know. Oh, God, it's good. It got crispy, Lord. Yes. Come through with the crisp. Honey. Anyway. I'm gonna be too busy. So, we'll start it up one day next week. I ain't gonna say Monday neither because I'm be tired for Sunday. Maybe Tuesday. But I haven't forgot about y'all. Unleashed is gonna go down. I've been asking y'all. Thank y'all so much for going over there. Mm -mm. But the way this weekend gonna be set up, I ain't gonna have time to do nothing. I got too much stuff to get done. I'm cooking eight butts and I don't have a big old grill so I'm doing two butts a day. Two in the morning, two at night. Eight of them. Big old nice butts too. Mm. Pulled pork butts. That was good. So... So that's what I've been working on too, getting these butts cooked. So Sam on leash, if y'all hit, if it hit before the weekend over, I see y'all in a couple of days next week. You girl gotta make some money, honey. Mm. Mm. I like a good old moist chicken. But I don't pop real mine. That's what I was talking about earlier. Let me do that. Mm -mm. They're not as juicy. They taste like grilled a little bit, but it's totally different. It takes a little bit longer for the legs or whatever, but I like it. I don't pop raw none of my food. None of my grill food, though. Nothing. Ribs, none of that. Mm-mm. I don't mean no harm. But, baby, if you can't cook, if you can't cook your food from raw on the grill, baby, you can't cook on the grill. You have lied to me. Mm-mm. If you can't cook from raw on the grill, you can't cook on the grill. You can warm up food on the grill. You can't cook. Mm -mm. No need to boil nothing. Mm -mm. The texture of everything will be so different. Mm. Y'all, I'm already full. God damn. Let me get this. Let's talk about it, y'all. Okay, I got it. Let's talk about it. Hey, let's talk about it. Y'all, I got it. Here it goes. I'm a 32-year-old man and my girlfriend is 30 years old. We've been together for almost four years and at the start of our relationship, things were great. I proposed last year, but she told me she needed her mom's blessing before we got married. I thought her mom and I had a good connection, but she won't give her the blessing until she gets to know me a little better. My life has turned upside down since I proposed. Right after I asked my girl to marry me, we found out she's pregnant. Again, she ran to her mom first and then they came over to tell me about the baby. 
her mom became even more controlling and she insists my girlfriend move in with her until she has the baby. That limits our time together because her mom has a curfew at her house and wants me out by midnight and wants her daughter home by midnight if she's out with me or her friends. My girlfriend seems to be under her mom's spell and is really irritating me to the point that I want to break up with her but I can't leave her while she's pregnant. My friends think she's abiding by her mom's rules because it's her way of distancing herself. Distancing. Distancing. What? Distancing herself from me. I don't get that feeling from her because we talk about her mom's crazy rules all the time. What I don't understand is why she won't stand up to her mom. She lets her mom ask me all kinds of personal questions about my friends, my finances, and my upbringing. I'm starting to hate her mother. It's getting to the point where I see my girlfriend less and less because of her. I want to get married, get a house for my family, and have a, and have a good life without her mom's involvement. How can I get my girlfriend from under her mom's spell? I'm tired of sharing. Y'all, Sammy Boo, let me take a what? Big bite on that. Mmm. Because he's tired of sharing. It's a nuisance sharing ain't caring Lord have mercy <laughs> my lord poor thing so he the mama is all in her business why the mama in her business like that the sound like the mama needs a life I don't know if she got a husband that's there with her but he, he she 30 the daughter 30 and he's 32 and he want to settle down and marry her because he really like her but the mom is involved in everything. But guess what? Because the daughter let her. If the daughter didn't want her mom in her business like that, she would not be. Trust that, Malia. I don't know if she's scared of her mama or what. But if. Please. If you don't want somebody involved in your business, you won't put them in there. Unless she got some kind of money or something. Hold on, Crystal's here. Crystal, Crystal's here. For a second, Crystal came right quick. That's enough. I don't understand why people let their parents um rule their lives. How can you give them that much control? Yeah. I know it's possible when well, you're still living under your mom's roof or whatever for them to be all in your business. But once you reach a certain age, it's time for you to become independent and do things on your own. You can get, you can talk to your mom, your parents about stuff. But they don't have the final say so and they can't oh man. Giving you a curfew. Mm mm. Twelve o'clock at thirty years old. I now I stay in a motel before I have a curfew. A motel, I said a hotel, a motel. I'm not stay, I'm not having no curfew. Mm mm. Not happening. So, hold on. I have seen situations though where the parents are too close with their children. I like these. <laughs> yeah. I have seen situations like that. Mm. But I think 
feel like she shouldn't let her mom control everything. He gonna end up leaving her, and she gonna be unhappy, gonna be sad, huh? And the mama gonna be raising that little baby when she could have had a husband that really loved her and cared about her. But her mom probably with her little lonely self. But her mama probably with her little lonely self and put real the girl in, won't let her do nothing, go nowhere, and she gonna be lonely right there with her. They gonna be just as happy as a lark sitting right there in that house together. Raising that baby. I don't think that's fair for parents to do their children like that. Unless he just a bugaboo and he doing wrong and it don't sound like it or he wouldn't even wrote no letter. So she about to let a good one go. She about to put a good old fish back in the sea baby. Honey, where you at? Come here right quick. Came with 32 though. <laughs> but shoot. Sometimes parents have to step back and let their children grow up and be who they are. At 30 years old, baby, you ain't got no business having nothing to do with that girl. Nothing. When I say that, I mean nothing to do with her life as far as, you know, why would she tell the mom first? Tell your boyfriend. There's something wrong with her too. She a little special. It got to be. She got to be a little special to go, you know. I'm just joking. I'm just gonna I'm full. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this video out, y'all. God. I'm full. <laughs> This video going up, but I promise y'all, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to let this be the last crazy video where I get to talking and then be in a rush and got to go and things going on, forgetting parts and all the kind of crazy. I'm gonna try to let this be the last one, y'all. Promise, I promise. Shit, I mean, I've been doing some stuff today. Then I got a call right before this video started. No, right when I started the video, I got a call and had to answer that call. And talk to them for a while. So it threw me off. I got to be somewhere at 2 o'clock. It's 129. I got to get in there. Oh, Lord. Jesus. This is going to be a short one. Put down in the comments what y'all think. I read it to y'all, honey. I didn't even answer right, honey. Because I was on full for one thing. I hadn't ate this much in a while. In a couple of days. I told y'all my stomach ain't the same. So. But this is keto friendly what I ate. Um, it wasn't nothing but some grilled chicken and... It was some grilled chicken and some regular turkey necks, not smoked turkey necks, and some devil eggs, angel eggs, devil eggs with some olives on top. You can eat olives on keto. You can also eat dill on keto. And you can eat mayo on keto. Eggs are very good for you on keto. So, devil eggs, if you don't like eggs like I don't, make you some devil eggs with some dill. Don't put no sugar in it, no nothing like that now. But you can put some dill. Make sure your mayonnaise is a good mayonnaise. As long as that base good. Put you a little bit of mustard, a little bit of onions in that joint. A little bit of pep, pep, pickles. Pep or side of pep. Girl, you got yourself an egg and it tastes good. But I'm going to go ahead on and go so I can get ready and get out of here, honey. I'll probably have a... I don't know how long the video will be. But I'm going to go ahead and go. I love y'all so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And until next time, bye-bye. And the thing about put me in a coma, I'm sleeping. Holy, this ain't good. It's not good, bro. It's not good. Okay. I got to go. I put these in now. I love y'all, symbols. Thank y'all so much for stopping by with me. But your girl got to go, and it's very, very sad. <laughs> I love y'all, though. Peace out. Oh, send me your Facebook names so we can put you in the group. All right? Love y'all. Peace out. <laughs> I'm just going to start, y'all. This is what we're doing. I'll take my thumbnail later. But I'm going to go ahead and go. Hi, guys. It's Sam. I am on the camp. We're Vogue in the Hill, Vogue in the Hill. Y'all, look, what we eat?
Oh, you seen the thumbnail, right? But anyway, we're not alone. Who could it be? Who could it be? I got my bed. Y'all, let me go ahead on this. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hey, let's talk about it. Y'all, let's talk about it, honey. Cause my little stomach getting full, full already. I'm too full. I can't eat another bite. But like I said, honey, um, I dropped some water. This is the most weirdest video ever. <laughs> but. My baby, I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my water, baby. It's so good and so cold. So cold. It's so good and so cold. So cold. It's so good and so cold. So cold. It's so good and so cold. I got my water, baby. It's so good and it's so cold. I want to welcome y'all to the Sam World Show. Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too. I want to give a shout out to all the Sam and Boo. Subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too. I want to give a shout out to all the Sam and Boo. Hey, I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby.